Well, thanks for dropping by the channel today. I've got a great episode for you. Today we're going to be talking about the close focusing ability of the 70 to 300. Now we're over at the Essex Shipbuilding Museum in Essex, Mass. And it's a wonderful place to get some maritime type of photographs. And today, that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try and look for some patterns and for some real close focusing ability of this particular lens. Get a chance, hit the like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. So this lens focuses down to 32.7 inches, and that's about 0.33x. And uh, you put the tele extender on here, it goes to, the ratio goes to 1 to 1.44. So it's pretty interesting if you ask me. So follow me around. I'm going to look for some interesting patterns here and see if we can find some interesting photographs with the 7300 at the minimum close focusing distance. So the first thing I do is I set my focus to manual focus. And I use the back button focus to zero in what I'm really interested in. And then I fine tune it with my focusing knob here. And it really works well with focus peaking because you can see, actually see where your depth of field is. So it works really well. And I'm gonna work this around a little bit. I might take some farther out ones, but it's, it's really, really interesting. Exposure here is 15th of a second at F11. And at this distance, boy, it's F11 is maybe not enough, but you know, that's what it, we're, we're looking for some really interesting out of focus features to this. See what we get. So the second shot we got lined up here is of uh, these this collection right here. This is really, really close in but all these nails and bolts and stuff right here. It's gonna be kind of interesting. Pretty critical in this situation uh, to use manual focus, you know, use that back button focus to get you started and then zero it in with your, with your um, focusing ring. This is gonna be an interesting shot. So I went with F18, uh, and it's on one bolt only. That's amazing. This can can uh, go in that far, boy. I'm really excited about how close you can get with this stuff. Uh, some more patterns up there. I just, you know, I wish I could get up a little bit higher, but I can't do that. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna start working on <clears throat> the way this gudgeon is embedded in here with these three bolts here, and we're gonna get the wood in there. It's gonna, it's gonna be kind of interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go in any tighter here, and then we're gonna start working on the, the uh, propeller over here. So we worked out a shot that's got all three of those bolts in it. I want that wood in there, because it really makes a big difference. So our exposures are about 1.2 seconds. So the next shot we got worked out here is of the propeller up here. And what you're seeing, the pattern that you're seeing is uh, barnacles that have been scraped off of this. Oh, mosquitoes. Um, barnacles that have been scraped off of this. Actually, some still left, or I should say the, the bottom half, the part that is attached to it. So we'll see what we get. Um, we got another couple of shots up there that I want to try. <laughs> Can't wait.
looking at these really interesting barnacle patterns, I realized that I could have spent all day shooting just this propeller. <laughs> Hope you liked today's video. I did an awful lot of uh, different patterns and bolts and nails and rust and all that stuff on the Evelina Goulart over here at the Essex Shipbuilding Museum. And I hope you visit this place if you come by Essex and I'll put the link underneath here to show you where it is and you can go to it. So I think it's essexshipbuilding.org, something like that. So I have to tell you, I don't do a whole heck of a lot of close-up stuff. And you can probably tell by some of these shots, but you know what? I think they're very interesting. And the 70 to 300 is really an incredible lens for this because uh, you can get in really, really tight. And one thing I didn't do is I didn't try to do anything with the 1.4 tele extender uh, just because that's really getting tight. And I'm not really used to that at all. But just so that you know, it makes it a one to 1.4, four, something like that uh, ratio. So I think you'd really enjoy that if you really enjoy close-up work. Um, I'm gonna experiment more with this. So uh, that's it for this week, and we'll catch you next time.